Okay, so we're going to test out the home lock uh, feature. Now you have to be flying in GPS mode to get this to work. We're going to go out here and be like, okay, we're filming, we're filming, we're filming. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to be like, oh no, I lost my orientation. Which way do I go to get it back to me? I'm going to flip home lock. And no matter which way it's pointed, right now it's pointed sideways, I'll pull back on the stick and it's bringing it back towards me, like so. And it's sideways, so the orientation is always the way that I'm kind of looking. So you can see if I even did reverse, if I want it to come back towards me, I'll pull back. And it's coming back to me. If I want it to go away, I push forward and I steer it just like normal. I can flip out of that mode if I want to. And I'll do the course lock feature as well. This is similar to the home lock, but it's more like a straight line uh, from where you take off is the way forward's going to be versus um, home lock is more as like you're the radial point. So flying away and get it sideways. One switch down is course lock. Now I'll pull back on the stick and it's coming back towards me, or at least the way it took off. You can see it's a little less accurate. It's going that way. But I mean, I can bring it left because obviously where I'm standing, it looks like it should go left. I can go forward and it's sideways. You know, I could do it like this. I want it to go right. Just turn the stick right. You know, if we're in manual, if we weren't in this mode, we flipped out of it. You know, to bring it towards me, I'd have to go forward, and to bring it left, I would have to go right. You know, because it's all backwards. But now, if you flip back in course lock, bring it back towards me is that way. Going away is forward. Right is right. Left is left. Very easy to fly. You know, if I, if I flip out of GPS mode. that doesn't work. So you have to be in GPS mode to get those two features to work. Ready? So we're going to spin it and then pull back on the stick and see if it comes back towards us. This would be like an impossible move to do in manual mode without assistance. Yeah, it's doing it. Look at that. Okay, now let's go away from us spinning. See how well that works. Kind of doing it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's bring it back towards us, spinning. So this is cool. So this is, I mean, we're spinning it and we're pulling back on the stick and it's coming straight back towards us. You know, if I was to do that in manual mode, no matter how good of a pilot I am, let's see if I can do it. So I'm in manual mode now. Now I'm going to really focus and see if I can do that same move, backwards and spinning. Okay, so left, forward, right, oop, 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 Almost got it. I can try going away from me, see if that works. Back, left, forward, oh. And that's the intelligent orientation control with the GPS unit. It's a great feature for people learning to fly. Um, it, again, if it's windy out, the GPS unit does not work as good as it does in a calm day. So beware of that. Um, otherwise, with the DX8, you're going to be able to get the manual altitude mode and GPS mode, course lock, home lock, uh, fail safe switch, and remote gain all in one controller. Pretty cool.